Thank you, Dr. Evans. Thank you for your leadership this last year and over the last decade. As San Diegans, we know a lot about the ocean. More than just our favorite beach, we know the difference between the surface of the water, the light chop described in the surf report, and the deep ocean currents that actually make the weather. It's those currents that slowly guide each of our days. And for the past decade, Dr. John Lee Evans has been a strong current within the ocean of public education, moving our schools inexorably towards equity, unconcerned by the waves on the surface. This insistence on equity is his legacy, and it's up to all of us to treasure that. I know I will. Since the start of the COVID-19 crisis, San Diego Unified has distributed 8 million free meals, 80,000 computers, and countless hours of online education. Our workers have made heroic sacrifices to feed the hungry, put technology in every home, and give every student access to his or her education. Students learning today in San Diego Unified get double the instruction time of their peers, according to the Los Angeles Times. The only thing more inspiring than the work of our staff during this crisis has been the work of our students. And since the state of San Diego Unified is always equal to the state of our students, the state of our district tonight is unstoppable. More than any generation in the 166 year history of San Diego Unified, this generation of students understands how precious their education is. They understand perseverance and persistence and how much a good education requires of us all. I've heard it already in many of the students I speak with. They have taken ownership of their learning. They have real voice and a sense of agency. That's why tonight, I want to talk about how we can create a national education movement that's worthy of the brilliance that I see in our students. This is the greatest adaptive challenge any of us in public education will face in our lifetimes. The COVID-19 crisis is an existential threat to everything we value in our public school system. It threatens excellence and equity. Our nation simply cannot afford a lost generation of learners nor can we afford an incomplete recovery that leaves communities of color behind extending 400 years of inequality far into the future. San Diego can show the nation how to solve this problem, but we cannot do it alone. Good teachers never give you the answer anyway. We show you how, how to solve the problem for yourself. And a problem of this size is going to take all of us working together. So let's get started. San Diego Unified, as you know, serves some 100,000 students from preschool through high school. A majority of our students are students of color, including sizable immigrant and refugee populations. Most of our students come from low-income families. We also have the honor of serving thousands of students from military families. In many ways, we are a typically American district, but our students have been accomplishing some extraordinary things that are not typical. The Council of Great City Schools called San Diego Unified one of the fastest improving districts in the nation, 
because our students have repeatedly outperformed their peers in math and reading on national assessments. EdSource reported San Diego is the only district whose scores in math and reading at fourth and eighth grade significantly exceeded the national urban district average. And the Center for the Transformation of Schools at UCLA found San Diego Unified increased college readiness of all students, including a 50% gain among African American youth. At the same time, the number of college courses completed by our students before high school graduation has nearly doubled in the last three years to 10,693. You can see why I called our students unstoppable, right? Of course, credit for these achievements belongs to students themselves. But leading research institutions, including the Learning Policy Institute, have also determined these gains are the result of our strategies. And at the heart of our strategies is our belief in bringing American education back from the current crisis. First, we raised academic standards. We required every graduate to complete the University of California A through G approved courses, which was unheard of at the time in diverse urban districts. Then we made sure every student had access to rigorous coursework, starting with expanding preschool options to detracking of middle school students in math and in high school, we increased access to advanced placement courses, community college courses, and career technical options. As a sister of a developmentally challenged adult, I'm especially proud of the work we did to expand access for our special education students to athletics, physical education, and general education classroom learning. Of course, students, are only half the equation in education. And their success depends on experienced, qualified teachers. When the Learning Policy Institute looked at why students of color in San Diego were outperforming their peers statewide, teachers were an essential element. We invest in our teachers and we focus on professional development. We began the current year with a full week of professional development to help our educators take the craft of teaching online. Finally, we recognize the challenges many of our students bring to school with them. So we've increased support services like counseling and health clinics in our most disadvantaged communities. This includes the creation of an entire integrated youth services agenda with youth advocacy and restorative justice. So what would the San Diego strategy look like at the national level? We have outlined that plan, shared it with the incoming Biden administration, and posted it on our website. We call it the national response to persevere and to prioritize school recovery with equity and undoing learning loss. Our plan calls for a robust COVID-19 testing, tracking, and tracing strategy for students and educators. It calls for $350 billion in direct relief to schools to offset lost state revenues and increased operating costs. We call for full funding for the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, and full funding for the impact aid program to invest in our military families. We call for tripling Title I funding and making the fund permanent to support low-income families. And finally, we call for guaranteeing all three and four-year-olds have access to high-quality early childhood education. We are optimistic the full San Diego plan will receive serious consideration at the national level. But I'd like to highlight two areas in particular this evening. Both are based on what we've learned in San Diego over the last decade of school reform. First, equity 
matters. If we are ever to make progress, closing the achievement and opportunity gaps, in addition to their own hard work, one of the reasons our students of color are outperforming their peers statewide is because of our equitable funding model that puts added resources in schools with higher concentrations of need. In the same way, the federal response to the current education crisis should prioritize low-income students, special education students, and students from military families through Title I, the IDEA, and Impact Aid, respectively. The COVID-19 crisis is taking a disproportionate financial toll on families of color, families that are struggling with income, housing, and food. While more than 30 million workers have filed for unemployment in the past few months, Black, Latino, and Native American communities have been hit the hardest. The children in these families are facing distress and trauma, and schools play a significant role in the delivery of services to address these needs, including providing nutritious meals. School counselors, social workers, and other specialized instructional support personnel must be able to address the emotional burdens and the trauma that many students will be carrying. This fact makes additional funding essential. Second, we have to invest in our teachers. There is a lot of talk in Washington about technology. And while closing the digital divide is important, the help, the way to help our students recover from a year in distance learning is not through more effective distance learning. Our students need their teachers because teachers are the only ones who can provide targeted instruction and customized learning. High quality teaching has been key to our success in San Diego. And that is one of the reasons we are calling for a national teacher core program to be part of any national recovery effort. As the nation confronts the challenges of learning loss, a well-prepared and experienced teacher workforce will contribute towards accelerating learning and recovering from this pandemic. A national teacher core program will also serve as a way to develop and promote teacher workforce diversity. We ask the next administration to invest in a national teacher core program. Now, before anyone discards these ideas as unrealistic, given the current economic climate, let me remind you that every one of the San Diego strategies for school reform came out of the 2008 financial crisis. Hard times breed clarity of purpose. Once again, we have a clear purpose today. We can create an educational recovery plan that meets the needs of all of our students by focusing on equity. We can accelerate learning and keep students moving forward by investing in strong classroom instruction. We urge the next administration to work with Congress and implement the core elements of the San Diego plan during the first 100 days. We owe our students nothing less. We will not stop fighting for them. Like our students, we will be unstoppable. Thank you.